Hey everyone, is your iPhone restarting randomly after updating to iOS 18? Don't worry, in today's video, we'll walk through some simple solutions that can help fix this issue. First, let's talk about why this might be happening. With iOS 18 being new, it's possible there are some bugs in the system causing this. Another reason could be your storage. If your iPhone is running low on space, it can start to crash or restart unexpectedly. And finally, it could be an issue with certain apps that aren't fully optimized for iOS 18 just yet. Now, let's dive into how we can fix this. One of the easiest things to try is a force restart. To do this, quickly press and release the volume up button, then the volume down button, and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. Your phone should restart, and hopefully, that resolves the issue. This can help with minor system crashes, but it won't fix more serious problems. If the problem continues, you can reset all settings. Don't worry, this won't erase your data, but it will reset things like Wi-Fi passwords and your home screen layout. Just go to General and Settings. Tap Transfer and Reset iPhone. Choose Reset and select Reset All Settings. This will fix glitches or misconfigurations without deleting personal data. Another thing to check is your storage. If your phone is running out of space, that could be the reason for the random restarts. While your phone is working, go to Settings, tap General, and check your iPhone storage. From there, you can delete any apps or files that are taking up too much space. If none of these work, it's time to try something more powerful. You can use Tenorshare Reiboot to easily downgrade or repair your iOS system without losing any data. Reiboot is an award-winning software that helps fix over 150 system issues without data loss, and it allows you to downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17 effortlessly. If you're currently using the iOS 18.1 beta, you can use Reiboot's downgrade feature to roll back to iOS 17, which may be more stable. Just use the downgrade feature and choose the version you want to downgrade to. Here I will choose iOS 17, then click download to get the official matching firmware. After that, just go for the downgrade part, then your phone will be back to iOS 17. However, Downgrading will erase your data. If you want to downgrade without losing data, check the video card to learn how to do it. For those running the official iOS 18, Reiboot Standard Repair can fix your phone without any data loss. Just connect your iPhone to your computer. If you want to fix your phone without data loss, you can click the green button here. Choose Standard Repair to avoid data loss. Deep repair will cause data loss, but it also could repair more difficult problems. And follow the on-screen instructions to download the matching firmware. Then you can repair your system. Reiboot will fix the issue without causing data loss. Quick and easy. Okay, now your phone is back to normal and all your app and photos are saved. So, there you have it. If your iPhone keeps restarting after iOS 18, try these methods and hopefully, it'll be running smoothly again. And if you're looking for a reliable tool to handle iOS problems, Reiboot is a great option. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips and troubleshooting guides. See you next time.